News tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, followed by a new episode of The Irrational. While we have your weekend box office numbers, taking the top spot is The Exorcist Believer. I saw that over the weekend with $27 million. What movie critics say the number didn't make head spin, especially because the film wasn't facing competition from any major releases. Coming in second and third place are Paw Patrol, the mighty movie, didn't watch that, with just under $12 million and Saw with $8 million. Rounding out the top five are The Creator and The Blind. Did y'all have y'all? Y'all like scary movies. I love scary you movies. Do. Yes. I, I know you're. I know the answer. <laughs> just that face alone. <laughs> me. Sorry. Yeah, Why it tells don't you me like it. I didn't realize it. Uh, it I, I mean, don't. that's so scary. It's dark. Why would I want to be scared if I could be happy? Yeah, she's, oh, she doesn't like okay. the spooky stuff. You know what I mean? No, I do. Yeah. I, I, I guess the. The, the thrill, the mm -hmm. adrenaline yeah. of like stuff pop, pop, popping out. I yeah. really like that. Are but you a fan of The Exorcist? Series? Yes, I, I yeah. am. I really am. And mm -hmm. I was actually going to see this one because it's a tribute to the first one, yeah. but I haven't gone just yet. But I'm really excited to see Saw as well because I've seen all of the movies, yeah. all nine. You see, Saw to me is so morbid. Why? It makes me think like the writers and the, the directors. Oh, yes. Like, that's dark. That's dark. Uh, so is the exorcist. Well, the, you see the exorcist? <laughs> it's so, scarier. Uh, yeah. It's like, mm, I don't know. Because, well, I guess <laughs> not. Because like, well, like uh, the exorcist, that's like demonic, yeah. you know? And then I guess Saw, it's like more like humans. Yes. Like yeah, humans yeah. doing that to other humans. Yeah, that's spooky. Like they're, I guess they're spook. They're both spooky in their own way. They are. <laughs> but if I could give my review of The Exorcist, it wasn't as great as the others. <gasps> really? Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. Nope. I mean, you I can watch Paw Patrol. I know. No, I <laughs> was gonna. I, you know, I do leave <laughs> it on for my puppy. Yeah. I love watching Paw Patrol there you go. and a bunch of others. Yeah, I know. No, I, I know, guys. I, this is not my conversation. <laughs> this is <laughs> no, it's you. okay. It's okay. It's not for everyone. <laughs> no. I've, I've no. Learned, yeah, yeah. No. Some people. Some of my closest friends will watch one scary movie and then say, "That's it. I'm not watching anymore for the season." Or yeah. sometimes yeah. they'll watch the scary movie and then right after they'll watch like a fun funny one or like a love mm. one. So the last movie in their head would be that one and not the scary That's one. That's a good tip. I think just watch the happy ones in general. Okay. Oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> yeah, well good morning Valley and thank you for joining us here on NBC 23 today. I'm Adam Cardona. And I'm meteorologist Brandon Medina filling in for meteorologist Jessica Kirk. Very good. And I'm lifestyle host Danielle Bonda filling in for Danielle Bonda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just There's here. only one. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> yeah, well your time now is 532 AM. If this is your time where you're getting ready to head out the door for work or really early to school. Oh, yeah. You're here to tell us what, what we should expect today, right? Yes. Well, you can expect a few light showers filtering in, mm -hmm. which is what you had saw earlier this morning in Brownsville. In Brownsville. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the case throughout today. So you can expect a few showers, maybe a storm or two, but everything's going to be relatively light. And those rain chances are going to be low, only at 20%, possibly 30. But those rain chances won't really increase until late tonight and into 